Hello, I'm Executive Chef Joseph Schultze. Welcome to our kitchen. Today is the first segment of a five-part series on Escoffier's Mother Sauces. The five mother sauces are tomato sauce or marinara. We have a bechamel, which is a cream sauce. Uh, an example would be using a bechamel, add cheese to it to use as a base for your mac and cheese. Uh, we have hollandaise, which uh, typically goes on top of an eggs benedict, and a variation would be bernays with the tarragon reduction that you will find accompanying a, a nice steak. We also have velouté, which an example of that would be the liquidy part of a chicken pot pie. And last but not least, the one we will demonstrate today is the espanol or brown sauce. So join me now and let me show you how I prepare it. Well, let's begin with preheating a five quart stock pot with about two or three tablespoons of oil. I then want to add my mirepoix. I have eight ounces of onion, four ounces celery, and four ounces carrot at a medium dice. We will saute those until we start to get some brown color. Well, we sweat the mirepoix. Now what I like to do is add two ounces of tomato paste. We will stir this around. The tomato paste is gonna add flavor. It's also gonna help us get a nice dark color. If you remember when we made the veal stock, it was the same principle. So already we're already getting a fond at the bottom. Now that we saute, we're gonna add four ounces of butter. And stir this around. Now the butter's melted, we're going to add four ounces of flour. And begin cooking our roux. Now that our roux is cooked, we're gonna add three quarts of veal stock. I like to add a little at a time. And then with a whisk, go ahead and start stirring the roux in to get it dissolved. Be careful. You don't wanna splash yourself with this. Roux is extremely hot. We will now bring to a boil and reduce to a simmer. We're at our boil. I'll reduce it to medium, medium low, and then add our herb sachet. Our sachet has two bay leaves, eight sprigs of parsley with the stem, eight sprigs of thyme, and a half a teaspoon of peppercorns. We will stir this periodically. Also, you will see some the foam collecting to the sides. You're gonna to wanna to skim that off as well. And we will continue to simmer for 30 to 40 minutes. The reduction should reduce by 33%. Well, it has been 40 minutes of simmering. We have reduced about one third of our original volume. We have a nice nappe on the back of the spoon and it's at a really nice consistency. At this time, we will remove it from the stove and we will strain it through a china cap. Well, our brown sauce is complete. The yield on this recipe is approximately two quarts. And right now, the way it looks, I'm really liking the um, consistency on it, the nappe on the spoon. But the real test is when we put it on the plate. So I'm gonna show it on here to see, to check our work to see how it looks, if we, uh, if we have a good consistency or not. I think we do. A nice slow run down the plate. So if you were to take the plate to the table or to your family, it's not moving around on you and sloshing all over the, all over the place. Consistency, I was very happy with. 
uh, it has enough fluidity or movement to it to where I can add something to it like mustard, for instance, and then turn it into a Robert sauce. I could make a red wine reduction, add it to it, cook it again, and make our Bordelais. The mother sauces are the beginnings of all sauces. All the sauces that we cook in culinary begin with a mother sauce, and everything else is just a variation of that. Well, this is our first one. We have four more to go. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Feel free to subscribe to keep up with our most updated uh, postings on every Tuesday. Send some questions and comments. Happy to help. You're invited.